お前はもう死んでいる Karen Riach Okay, well, that's one way to start a video. Today, it's all about Karen. No, not the Karens that we hear and see about on the internet every so often, but a very specific and very interesting avatar that you've definitely seen before. And don't worry, they're not gonna bite, so let's get it started and let me ask you one question. What the f is a Karen? A Karen is a middle class white woman that. Pars! Wrong description! The Karen avatar that we are gonna talk about today is made by another avatar creator that I already mentioned in my Rusk avatar video. Come Komado. Komado is very known for creating bestseller avatars such as Rusk, Mint and of course Karen. All three of these avatars are on the front page of Boo's most sold 3D models which is absolutely insane and what's even crazier is that Karen is the third most sold 3D model on Boo's.pm. Let's zoom into the 3D model page and wow! This 3D model is also 5000 yen which is around 40 to 50 bucks. Imagine what else you could do with that money. Anyways for 40 to 50 dollars you can get yourself your own Karen model and design it just like how you want it. That's the sense behind buying an avatar right? Oh, and let's not forget about all the customer options that you can get for this avatar. From clothing to eye texture to uh, <laughs> an octopus cosplay? What? Or look at this fish suit, guys. <laughs> I cannot. So there's a lot to choose and a lot to add to your own Karen avatar. And with the ability of being able to choose and add so much stuff to your Karen, there also comes a unique ability that Karen naturally can do. And that is pulling your goddamn ponytails to the moon. No, but Karen actually has a very unique and natural aura that gives it the sense of gremliness and fun. I mean, it looks like a gremlin, doesn't it? Karen's emotes, the already pretty cool and basic clothing and its outstanding hair and eyes give it the comfy aura to be around by. So basically, Karen is a W. And because that avatar is a W, there also has to be another reason to become a Karen, right? Karens are unique. There's no same Karen as the other. Almost every Karen that is in VR is either so heavily edited that you don't even see the Karen base or either just have simple color differences that make your Karen look unique unique in one way or another. That is also why Karen is very popular and a reason to actually become one. The amount and possibility to customize this avatar are way more beyond than any other ones on booth.pm in my opinion. You can still compare the avatar with Rindu when it comes to the amount of customization though but overall Karen is really shining when you have a base model for your own to edit and add accessories to it. And did I convince you to become a Karen? No? I'll show you anyways because Karen is really something for its own. When it comes to becoming a Karen, you have two options. The first one, which is very much recommended, is to actually purchase the original model on booth.pm to be able to customize it to your liking and add as many and cool accessories as you want. You also help out Komado, the creator of Karen, find Financially and support their work in that way. The other option would be Yes, you already know, Prismix Avatar Search. In that world, you're able to look for a specific avatar and get a ton of results that you can choose and try out. Although this option is not as popular since you're limited in customization and don't really support the creator as well. So option number one is one way to go. Also, if you haven't checked out my other VRChat avatar showcases, go ahead and click one of the videos that will appear at the end screen. But most importantly, is it worth getting a Karen dancing around and being able to pull your ponytail to infinity? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Bye!